The last word on the year's best movies and performances always comes at the Academy Awards. Every year, the Dolby Theatre in Los Angeles plays host to a sea of photographers, fans, and of course, the largest gathering of star power in the world. Predicting who will go home with the gold is an inexact science at best, so we are some of Hollywood's own to tell us their favourite films of the year. There's lots of great movies that I really want to see. I loved Birdman. I just saw St. Vincent. Oh. I really want to see... The one that's about space, what's it called? So. The year's best combination of massive movie experience and heart-tugging drama is surely Christopher Nolan's Interstellar. I'll go out and see Interstellar again. The film is likely to land nominations in acting and directing, as well as many technical categories, and perhaps best picture as well. You know, I just watched Boyhood on a plane, and I was crying like a little baby on the plane. Richard Linklater's 12-year-long project is also heavily tipped as an award favourite. The director himself has only earned writing nominations before and seems due for a Best Director nod. It was actually kind of interesting. Um, only two filmmakers were on everybody's list. And the two filmmakers that were on everybody's list was David Fincher and Rick Linkletter. <laughs> they were on everybody's list. The best movie, oh, maybe Guardians? Guardians of the Galaxy has so much fun. I just saw Whiplash. Miles Teller is earning a lot of buzz for his performance and would be the youngest winner ever should he take home a trophy. Also tipped in the best actor category are Birdman's Michael Keaton and a certain comedian taking on a dramatic role. It's just recently saw Foxcatcher. That was, I love Steve Carell. Wild I think was incredible with Reese Witherspoon and um, what Imitation Game with Benedict. Cumber, Cumberbatch, that was great. I mean, and those, I'm sure we're going to see a lot of them during award season. With the Spoon is currently the name to beat as Best Actress, with critics comparing her transformation in Wild as being equivalent to Matthew McConaughey's last year. But she'll get a run for her money from four time previous nominee Julianne Moore and former friend Jennifer Aniston, who's completed her journey from sitcom star to dramatic actress with Cake. I felt myself already shooting it when I was reading it. I really saw it instantly. It was the, no, I, 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 it was mine <laughs> from the get-go. Which performances will be considered the most outstanding? Which director will receive the acclaim of his peers? And which movie will be crowned as the masterpiece of 2014? All will be revealed on February the 22nd.